Hi everyone. How are you doing? Doing good. Bye. So today I want to uh, give lecture on uh, module 7 where I want to focus on input. Okay? So we will continue with output with another video. Alright? So are you ready? Okay, good. So we are still using our same textbook Discovering Computers 2018. Now let's start. Okay, so this is our slide. Alright, so make sure you have your textbook with you by now. Now let's continue with our first slide. For better audio, so you may need your earphones or earbuds. Now let's look at the objectives. So these are the objectives for our video today. So first of all, I want to focus on the types of uh, input device such as keyboards, pointing devices, flash screens, as well as pen input. Okay. Now first of all, let's focus on input. So what is input? So input is any data and instruction entered into the memory of a computer. As you can see in the figures. 7.1 it shows a variety of options for enter data and instruction into a computer so these are the most common uh, use uh, input uh, methods uh, which include keyboard pointing devices flash screens pen input motion voice video input scanners and reading devices now let's start with keyboard so most computers and uh, mobile devices include a keyboard so a keyboard is an input device that contains multiple keys that you can press to enter data and instruction into a computer or mobile device. So if you look at the layout of your uh, keyboard right now, you can see that you have your typing area, you have your function keys, you have your toggle keys, your navigation keys, keyboard shortcuts, media control buttons, internet control buttons and other buttons. So there are a variety of keyboard options for mobile computers and devices but for a normal desktop, normally you will use a standard keyboard which normally they have uh, almost uh, more than 100 uh, keys that you can use. Okay. However, for uh, computers uh, such as laptops and tablets, they normally use compact keyboard which is uh, smaller than a standard keyboard. And normally, this kind of compact keyboard doesn't include the numeric keypad or navigation keys. Some compact keyboards are built into the computer. Other compact keyboards are separate devices that communicate wirelessly or attached to the computer or device with a magnet, clip or other mechanism. So this is another keyboard that we call as ergonomic keyboard. So this ergonomic keyboard has a design that able to reduce the chance of injuries upon your hand or upon your wrist. So this ergonomic keyboard normally will incorporate with comfort, efficiency and safety in the design of the workplace. So other keyboard is a gaming keyboard. It is a keyboard that is designed specifically for users uh, who enjoy playing games on the computer. Now let's move to pointing devices. So in a graphical user interface, a pointer is a small symbol on the screen whose location and shape changes as a user moves a pointing device. A pointing device can enable uh, you to select text, uh, graphics, and other objects such as buttons, uh, icons, links, and menu commands. Okay. So the normal use of common use of pointing device is a mouse. So a mouse is a pointing device that fits under the palm of your hand comfortably. So we have the optical mouse, laser mouse, and touch mouse. So for optical mouse, normally this kind of mouse will use uh, optical sensors that emit and sense light to detect the mouse movement. Similar to laser mouse, that this kind of mouse emit and sense light to detect the mouse movement. For touch mouse, it is a touch sensitive mouse that recognizes touch gestures in addition to detecting movement of the mouse and traditional click and scroll operations. Now let's move to touchpad. A touchpad is a small, flat, rectangular pointing device that is sensitive to pressure and motion. Normally they are found 
most open on laptops and compatible tablets. Next pointing device will be a trackball. A trackball is a stylishly pointing device with a ball on its top or side. The ball in most trackball is about the size of a ping pong ball. Some devices called a trackball mouse combine the functionality both a trackball and a mouse. Then you have touch screen. A touch screen is a touch screen sensitive display. They are convenient because they don't uh, require a separate device for input. Smartphone, tablets, and many laptops and all in ones offer touch screens. You can interact with the touch screen by touching areas of the screen with your finger or a stylus to make selection or to begin typing. Many touch screens also respond to gestures. So what do you mean by a gesture? So a gesture is a motion you make on a touch screen with the tip of one or more fingers on your hand. Let's move to pen input. Some displays and mobile devices support pen input. With this pen input, you touch a stylus or digital pen on a flat surface to write, draw, or make selections. Let's start with stylus. A stylus is a small or plastic device that looks like a tiny ink pen but uses pressure instead of ink. Digital pen, however, is slightly larger than a stylus. It is an input device that captures and uh, converts a user's handwriting or drawings into a digital format which uh, users can upload to a computer or mobile device. For graphic tablet, sometimes they're called a digitizer. It is an electronic plastic board that detects and converts movement of a style or digital pen into signals uh, that are sent to the computer. So as you can see in the PP711, okay, there are architects that use a graphic tablet to create blueprints. So that's all for the first part of input. So I will continue with the second part of input after this. Stay tuned with me. Bye.